Yeah, sorry, man. For you guys who don't know, Brent and my, uh, myself, UBL quarterfinal matchup. So we yeah. have. I right, I'm coming for you, dude. Right, I'm laying a smackdown on you tonight. Right, half five Eastern. I'm gonna lay it all in line. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna get into the semi-finals. I'm gonna go all the way, all the way. The Wailers need a title. We're doing it this season. I'm feeling it. The chocolate milk has gone to my head. The sunshine has gone to my head. We're doing it. Red, you're going down. You're finished. I'm ending your run now. Done. Dustin, it's happening. It's, it's on. It is on, right? Red thought he was all cool going to Paxton, having his live battle and all this kind of stuff. Thinking he was the shit bit. No, 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 no. I'm putting this up to him now. Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be round one of the UBL playoffs and I'm incredibly excited here. We do have the number two seed in our division. We're going to be facing up against Irish, the number three seed in the opposite division. You can see this is a pretty intense matchup right here. And I actually did record this live. This is 100% recorded live. However, I did not actually start the recording until about the second turn in. So I'm going to just talk through the first turn and then from there, it will be the live recording throughout the rest of the video. So so from here, you can see a little bit of, of the matchup. Honestly, this match was so hype. I don't even want to tell you guys the, the kind of stuff that's on my team. I'm just going to let the battle speak for itself. I'm just going to get into this match. It was a whole lot of fun to play. Irish, obviously, incredible battler with a really good team on his hands. He had a low bunny tox specs core. Didn't, didn't bring the tox specs to this particular match, but an insane core that definitely well-deservedly brought him into the playoffs. Now here, I just lead off with my Jolteon on this Torkoal and I figure, look, this Torkoal, I just want to go for Earth Power straight away. I'm just going to go for the damage. No matter what on his team, Jolteon can kind of deal with it. However, he does get fully paired turn one, which does kind of stink. It's unfortunate. I'm super sorry. I'm genuinely really sorry. But however, it does activate our Flame War, but we are going to outspeed his entire team right now, which is uh, totally fine in all honesty. I am very, very not too concerned with that. Although I would have to get pretty much a really high roll to Oko with Volt Switch from here, or to KO with Volt Switch. So going for, oh, I misclicked. I 100% misclicked. I went for the Volt Switch. I didn't mean to do that, although he does withdraw, so maybe something's gonna happen. Fabled, I don't know what that is. Fabled is the floor just, that's totally fine. I can Volt Switch into Greninja right here, and I can judge, I can make some judgments based on that damage as well. Florges. I did have the HP poison, but I am pretty glad not to have to reveal it. And I can go into the Greninja right here. I can go into the Greninja right here. I can go into Venusaur as well. I can go into Venusaur as well. How worth it would that be? No, I think the correct play would be to go into into the Greninja here. Because now Greninja really does threaten his team. I have to think this through, though. I really have to think this through, though. I mean, a gunk shot for his entire team is going to do a lot of damage. Although, now I'm super duper regretting not having the... Dark Pulse instead of Surf as my main stab, but I guess we deal with it. Let's see. Floor just that's about right, especially if we give it max HP, which I'm going to have to assume. For right now, yeah, that makes perfect sense for damage. Okay. Honestly, I could go into Delphox as well. Delphox does really, really well in this matchup. What would Tauros do in this situation? Oh, Tauros Iron Head. Just kind of destroys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go into Tauros and just click Iron Head. I actually have to highlight what's on his teams uh, in my Google D uh, Doc right here. So Mega Low Plenty and Toxic Effect and Top of are definitely there. Florgis is definitely there. Torkoal and Mesprit, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. These two and then Spear Tomb are here. So I'm going to highlight them all so I have some notes to reference. And yeah, Body Slam honestly from here should be able to take it out as well. But I kind of do just want to play it safer and just go for the Iron Head. There's no downside to just going for Iron Head unless the Torkoal wants to go down here. But I wouldn't mind it if that's the case in all honesty. I'm just going to go for the Iron Head. Will this take it out? Oh no! It survives on just a sliver. Okay. 
Okay, now I have to decide some things. Well, not really. I was going to say I have to decide whether or not I want to predict him to wish Pash into the Torkoal, which I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to click Body Slam just for that situation. If he goes into the Tor into the Torkoal, then he should expect to take it with an iron... Yes, okay. This is exactly what I expected to happen. Oh, it's a little bit healthier than I would have expected. Can we take this thing out? Come on. Yes, you can, Tauros. We cannot. Okay, fair enough. And we don't have uh, Earthquake on this thing either. Now, I am way too afraid of a Will-O-Wisp in this situation. So I can't really stay in here. I can't really stay in here. I wonder if he would expect me to go into the... I wonder if he would expect me to go into the... Jolteon right here and try to go for an Earth Power because in all honesty he can Will-O-Wisp me which would be huge. That would be huge if he got a free Will-O-Wisp on me. I can also go into the Delphox here. I can also go into the Delphox here. I think the safest switch might actually be... no it's not. Oh yeah, no. This should be the last turn of Sun. Oh, and, but it might not show me if it's damp if it's Heat Rock. Hmm. Interesting. And I really don't want my Latios to get burned because my Latios is a Dragon Dance set. I'm going to... But if I really think you're going to Will-O-Wisp here, then I would go into the Jolteon here. I'm going to go into the Delphox because I'm going to try to throw a Wish up in the air. I think that's my play for right now. And we do definitely have to make sure that this is a Heat Rock before we really proceed with anything too, too crazy. And we don't have removal, so those rocks are here to stay as well. I think two Body Slams might have taken it out from this range too. That is unfortunate. That is genuinely unfortunate. Either way, I'm going to throw a Wish up in the air. And I'm going to attempt to call mind next turn. Although something else comes out wicked. That's, of course, the Spear Tomb. And the sun is no longer up. So, which sucks for us in the moment because I can't hit this thing with a really strong Fire Blast. But I also can't... Um, but it's also going to be ultimately better in the long run for sun to run out in five turns. So... Greninja was the proper play in there in that situation, I suppose. Either way, Fire Blast is not doing nearly enough as he goes for the Pursuit, expecting me to switch out. I really didn't feel the need to, especially with the Wish coming through. So, let me think this through now. It does suggest a physical set, but I don't think he would want to run Foul Play. I think he would more want to run Dark Pulse? Would he? No? I don't know. I should have gone for Calm Mind that turn. I really should have. I'm gonna try and Calm Mind up here. I feel like I feel like Irish is the type of guy that would want to run um, Sucker Punch and Dark Pulse, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure yet. He goes for the Toxic. Okay, that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. I feel like I'm not thinking through my turns well enough at this moment. At this moment right now. I should definitely be thinking this through a little bit better. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind, though. Now, I'm going to throw up a Wish first. I think if if he's not going to Pursuit me, then I think I'm in better shape than... goes for the Pain Split as I go for the Wish. Interesting. So he expected a big Fire Blast coming in there. But all I did was throw up a wish. And if he wants to try that again, I'm just going to... I'm just going to Calm Mind again this turn. I don't really have much to worry about. So we've seen Toxic, Pain Split, Pursuit, and some fourth move. 
the spear tomb is gonna be such a huge pain. I'm really upset that I didn't pack the dazzling thing. I should have packed it just for this thing, but I was pretty excited about it. Goes for the sucker punch, so there's the fourth move. So if we can make the proper reads, we should be in okay shape against this thing. However, this to next turn, I am just gonna go for a fire blast. If he wants to attempt to make a call with sucker punch, I would uh, love to see that, but at this moment right now, I just want to get some damage off on this thing. I just need the damage. Now, assuming... Now, we know it's full moveset. We know it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp, which is actually huge. Especially for my Tauros to come in later. That's huge for my Tauros to come in later, as he does go for the Sucker Punch right there. Not doing too, too much, but the Toxic is really going to rack up in this situation. Doing over half with the with the fire blast so if he doesn't pain split this next turn then he will go down oh that is a lot of damage i might just throw up a wish i might just throw up a wish Yeah, this is a bad position to be in right now. I did get a lot of damage off on this thing, but I'm not quite sure anymore whether it was worth it or not. Hmm. I'm going to throw up a wish. Yeah, the Sucker Punch is going to cause me to go down this turn. However, it's going to open up the door for something next turn to come in and uh, deal with this Spear Tomb. So unfortunately, Delphox didn't do as much as I would have liked it to, but the Spear Tomb set really did uh, counter me in ways that uh, I wasn't expecting. So, fair play to Irish, obviously. And I guess, I guess... I mean, now we can kind of go into... Now we can kind of go into... Jolteon here, right? And Jolteon takes a Sucker Punch, sure, but I don't... I don't see that as too big of an issue right now. I could also go into my Venusaur. Let's see, Pursuit... Pursuit pain split. Yeah, no, I can't let it pain split. That would be huge. Another possibility is Greninja. Greninja would resist that, but also don't want Greninja taking that much damage. I think. I think just good old fashioned uh, Jolteon right here might be the ticket. However, I this might bait in the low punny. This might actually bait in the low punny. If he goes for the Sucker Punch and thinks that's enough damage for the Lopunny to come in and trap me with Fake Out, then that would honestly be fine with me. Unless it also has a Quick Attack. If it has Fake Out and Quick Attack, then I would be in a whole lot of trouble, in all honesty. In all honesty. But I think he just has to let this thing go down and um, try to damage me with Sucker Punch because it's not really worth getting letting me get damage off on something else on his team when he already sees how hard this Pokemon is hitting his team. I'm really concerned about the mess word still. I'm really, really concerned about the mess word still, and I'm kicking myself for not having the Dark Stab on the Greninja. But with this thing gone... With this thing gone, Tauros can do a lot more than it has been before. And... Yeah, this thing's just gonna be a nuisance. This thing's gonna open up... This thing gone is gonna open up the door a lot for a lot of my team. Because as of right now, it can just sit here and be a nuisance. I did click... Yeah, I did click my move, right? I did. Um, he withdraws, so letting me get a pretty big hit on something. It goes into the Bulu, so now I really have to calc what I... Um, what damage rolls I'm getting here. And we can see if that... 
Oh, that does... That does enough damage where I really think a Bulu takes it out. I really think a Poison... An HP Poison takes out this Bulu. Jesus, okay. I'm kind of nervous, in all honesty. Okay. And we got the Para. That kind of sucks, but I outspeed anyway, so... I don't... I really don't think it matters. And I will get the recovery. Ooh, that's also pretty huge. Okay. So, yeah, judging from that Thunderbolt damage... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm clicking HP Poison every dang day of the week. I'm clicking HP Poison every dang day of the week. In all honesty, I feel like he Sword Stances. I feel like he Sword Stances, in all honesty. If he was Scarfed, then that would be genuinely unfortunate, but I would have outsped it because of Quick Feet. But yeah, the fact that I was able to get that much damage off with that Thunderbolt means that I should be able to take this out. Okay, I was genuinely concerned about Kebia Berry, but we are able to take this thing out with an HP Poison. We get the recovery as well. Um, and we do take some burn damage, that's fine. I am pretty excited about how things are going right now. I'm pretty excited right now. So, let me think. Top of Bulu being gone is going to be huge for later. But yeah, this is exactly the sequence of events that I was expecting. I, I know that the biggest impediment to my Jilteon was the Tapu Bulu. I knew it walled me the most, so I had to be able to... Um, yeah, now I think I'm going to bait in the low punny. Him bringing this thing in makes me really think that I'm, that I'm about to bait in the low punny. Because I just Thunderbolt here. I just Thunderbolt here. He doesn't even go for Sucker Punch. Does he take it? He takes it and goes for the pain split. That's bad. That's bad. I didn't think he would take that. That is very bad. And now I can't Volt Switch because... He pain splits on whatever comes in. It's okay, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt again. I think his play, I really do think that his play is to do this, to try to bait in, we do get another para. That is absolutely wild, as it goes for the pursuit. So, <sighs> Sucker Punch takes me out right now. Sucker Punch has to take me out right now. Spear Tomb. With Sucker Punch. Takes me out every time. Although this would be my opportunity to switch if I ever did have one. This would be my opportunity to switch. But what in the world would I switch into? This is, this is a genuine 50-50 that's going to decide the game because he could either pursue or Sucker Punch and I could either switch out or stay in a Thunderbolt. This is a genuinely game deciding 50-50. And I have to think through what I'm going to do. Because I desperately want to switch into my Greninja right now. Realistically, if he pursues, then I still have answers for Low Punny. Do I? I probably do. Yeah, Venusaur can wall the little pony, that's fine. Um... If he goes for the Pursuit, then that's fine. If he goes for the... Okay, yeah, I'm, I've convinced myself. I'm going to... Just go into the Greninja. And, not, and no Pursuit really makes me think that he just goes for Sucker Punch there. It, get fu it gets fully paired, so we never get to see, but... He could have made the god tier play and gone for the pain split there, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask him after the match. I'm gonna have to ask him after the match. And now we just have to see what a Life Orb Surf does. Even at max HP, it does over half. I think I just want to go for that Surf. This is a very strong Life Orb Surf that should be coming in right now. 
Should be a very strong Life Orb Surf. We're already 18 turns into this match and we're 40 minutes in. It's a very fast-moving battle, but we're at a little bit of a st stalemate. And I almost packed the Protect on this Greninja. I was very close to packing the Protect on this Greninja. But realistically, if he brings in the Low Pony after this, then I would have to bring in... I'd have to hard switch directly into the Venusaur. I really do think that the, that Surf should take this thing out. However, it was for the withdrawal. Does the Torkoal come in? Because I think I, I think I might two hit the Torkoal. I guess we'll see. But I think I might two hit the Torkoal. But I don't know. He was probably running Calcs a while. Ooh, is that a crit? That's not a crit. That is not a crit. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna click surf again. This thing will go down. This might invite the low punny back in. This might also invite the spear tomb back in. Um, Spirit Tomb, I'm less concerned about. If the Low Pony comes in, well, I, I was just, I just literally just said that if the Low Pony comes in, I go into Venusaur every time. It does come in. Does he have anything that can hit the Venusaur super hard? Although I'm not Mega Venusaur, which is bad. I might be inclined to give up the Tauros here. I might be inclined to give up Tauros here. Let's see, Bulu is done. And Florgis is done, I believe. No, the Torkoal is done. So the Florgis is still out there. Okay. Let me think this through. Oh, but the floor just is down at, at like 2%. So this is interesting. This is really interesting, actually. I don't want to give up Jolteon just yet because I do think that the Jolteon can take this thing on. You know what? I, I really kind of am inclined to give up the Tauros here. Although Tauros Iron Head can just take out this floor just. Doesn't do much to Spear Tomb. Yeah, it still does work to the Mespert. Too. Would I be willing to give up my my Latios here? Actually, no. That now that I'm looking through this thing, I think Jolteon is my most expendable member still remaining because the floor just is going to go down anyway. Uh, the Mesprit I can deal damage to, but a lot of my team can. And the Spirit Tomb is just going to sucker punch me. So, I think at this point, Jolteon is the most expendable. Even though it can outspeed this thing for days. Just goes for the return. That's fine. So now what comes in? I feel like the Latios comes in. Can I take an Ice Punch? Can my Latios take an Ice Punch? Low Punny. Nope, that's a regular Low Punny. Mega Low Punny. 52 attack, level 50. Uh, Nature Adamant. Ice Punch. We should realistically take it with Latios. And then I can Dragon Dance up freely. Uh, yeah, I don't know on what, in what situation he'd be able to take me out. So I just clicked Dragon Dance. 
in all honesty. I just clicked Dragon Dance here. Straight up withdraws. Goes into this. Okay. This is totally fine. So he was giving this up essentially. He was giving this up essentially. So now I can just go for a Steel Wing. Actually, by taking this down, by letting me take this down, he I, he gets the free switch into um into Spirit Tomb, so he can sucker punch me, and then that would give him the chip that he needs for um Ice Punch. However, now I'm Dragon Dance up, and he doesn't he wouldn't outspeed me. So Spirit Tomb would have to take a plus one. Oh, the Mesprit. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Mesprit kind of destroys me as well. I didn't think that through well enough. Okay. So the Spear Tomb is done. Mesprit. What's Mesprit taking? Mesprit. Blank set. I can't just go for the Z-Zen headbutt. That's doing the most damage in the situation. I can't, uh, Steel Wing does the most damage here. I might just go for that. I could Dragon Dance up again. If I get to plus two, it's still not doing a whole lot for me. Actually, plus two helps out a decent amount. I'm going to attempt to get to plus two. If I get to plus three, and I got to see what he does as well. If I get to plus three, uh, Zen Headbutt still doesn't threaten the KO. Z Zen Headbutt, I should say. Goes for the Calm Mind. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. I do, however, kind of want to go for the, Z for the Z Zen Headbutt right now. Huh. How should I play this? How should I play this? If I go for the Steel Wing, I can gauge the damage, but either way, just that chip damage will ensure a Z Sen Headbutt KO on the next turn. I'm gonna click Steel Wing. Okay. So, I do want to gauge this damage, like, genuinely. Oh, that does absolutely nothing. So, this has to be... Oh, and we're at plus two. So, this has to be, like, max defense. Yeah, max defense makes the most sense. Okay, this was never a good idea to do. Well, I guess we just go out with a Z Psychic right now. Or Z... Zen Headbutt. But, um, yeah, like I said, unfortunately, the Spirit Tomb really did um, mess up my plans if it just came in and sucker punched me. So, it's not the worst situation in the world. I can come back in with Tauros, and Tauros should be able to clean up after I get a lot of damage on this Mesprit here. Okay. I, uh, now we have to check what Tauros is doing. Another Shadow Ball comes in. Body Slam from Toro should do about 50%, even at max defense, max HP, max defense. And unfortunately, I have to go for that, even though I really want to go for Iron Head. I'm going to have to come in with Toros right now. Although, if the, if the Spirit Tomb comes in, then I should be able to Iron Head that anyway, right? I don't know what to do right now. Because I really want a body slam, but he has the easiest um, spear team switch in right now. I can probably take a plus one psychic. Yeah, yeah, so we know that this thing is defensive. So I'd probably take a plus one psychic. Oh, not well. Not well at all. 
Actually, yeah, I'm gonna Iron Head here. Goes for the withdrawal. Spear Tomb comes in. How much are we doing? I know he's gonna get the Sucker Punch off, which does stink, but... Oh, we just missed taking it out. So, that actually matters quite a bit because now he's gonna be able to get some free Sucker Punch damage where... Technically, shouldn't have been able to. But either way, Tauros doesn't do much for me in the late game, no matter what, because it just gets outsped by the Megalopunny. So now Megalopunny can come in pretty darn freely and fake out. And because my Mega Venus or because my Venus were never Mega Evolved means that I am not actually able to take a return the way I would like to. Let's see here. Low Pony. Mega. So I think I just have to let this thing go down right now. Low Pony Mega. Actually, as long as... As long as, um... The Mesprit doesn't take damage. I'm sorry, as long as the Mesmer doesn't get up a Calm Mind, then my Greninja can come in and do enough work where it makes sense. So let me see, Low Pony, Max Attack, Adamant. Um, with Return. Yeah, that Sucker Punch damage mattered a lot, because I actually would have been able to take a return, actually, but it just goes for Fake Out, so... It's irrelevant anyway, I'm just gonna click Body Slam, let this thing go down, let it take me out to a return, but now my Venusaur can come in... Oh, we take it! Hold on, we took that somehow. That's insane. We took that return somehow. I didn't see what damage... I was at, but let me see, according to this, it does anywhere from 102 points to 121 points of damage. So I guess we have to watch this back, but now Greninja wins, Greninja genuinely wins because I do have the, I do have the Water Shuriken on my Greninja, and there's enough damage on the, there's enough damage on the, Mesprit, where I think I can beat the Mesprit. Let me do some calcs as to what I do against Mesprit. But I have to click Water Shark again. There's literally nothing else I can click right now. As you go for the withdrawal, Mesprit against Greninja. Yeah, there's no way that I don't take you out with Surf. Even at, after this damage, there's no way I don't take you out with Surf. And I think I win this one. I think I win this game. I click Surf. And I let, and I probably let him take out my Venusaur because of the fake out possibility. But the low punny comes back in, right? And the low punny threatens me with fake out. The low punny would have to have quick attack as well. However, I would love it if this Venusaur was also able to handle it, but I'm not too, too confident in that. He probably goes for power punch in all honesty. Fake out, totally fine. I think, I think we take another hit, but I think we win this match right now. I just go for Giga Drain. He probably goes for Power Punch, but I've already revealed Water Shuriken. I think we might have just picked up this win against Irish Emerald. Goes for the return. We eat that up, go for the Giga Drain, and we are advancing to round two of the UBL playoffs. I am blown away. He had the scariest team, and we end up taking this match. I could not be more excited. I'm going to say GG to him right now.
I am going to totally regret exactly what I just said there, but boom, I'm, I'm calling it out now, we're doing it. We're going into the semi-final match really, really soon. And then from there, if, if all goes well, we go on to the UBL finals. We are in here trying to make the finest of playoff runs right now. I'm honestly still quite a bit speechless, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more UBL playoffs as well as more PGL matches coming up really, really soon. I'm overwhelmed. I'm so excited right now. So with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out. I'm going to fall out at the beginning of my video after I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, if you could edit my stream, feel free to take any part of what I say on my stream and put it in the video if you want, man.